It's Harlan here with Load King. Today we're going to take you on a tour of a trailer that we've been offering on the market for many years, but we made some key changes or refinements to this trailer to make it more user friendly, shedding some weight, uh, lowering the overall height to maximize payload, giving you a lighter trailer to use on the road today. The Western Quad, as I mentioned, has been uh, been an offering in our product line for many years. Standard feature that we offered for many years was a six inch channel side rail. Today we've incorporated the JP rail. The JP rail started off as an offering that we only offered in our B-Train uh, trailers and has now moved into our flatbeds, the 53 tritums, 48 tritums, tandems, any of our flatbed trailers. And we now offer it in the Western Quad uh, trailer as well. Some of the key changes in the uh, overall width of the trailer, it, the full width deck is now 102 inches, allows you the 48, 54 inch load. So you can have two different sizes of drywall, plywood, and utilizing the entire width of the deck without having anything stick over or be exposed to the elements. Something about the design of this uh, JP rail as well, uh, it's got recessed protection as well. It protects both the lighting and the conspicuity tape. Should the strap come over top, the strap is not contacting the conspicuity tape, keeping it fresh and looking clean. Uh, an option on this trailer as well, we do offer in all of our JP rail trailers is a chamfered uh, front corner, not chosen on this particular model, but it is available as an option. We'll talk about some of the features that allowed us to reduce the weight of this trailer and still maintain a 100,000 pound uh, carrying capacity of this trailer. How we accomplished that is we reduced the thickness of the, uh, the web, allowing us to bring the overall height of the trailer down. In addition to that, we spaced the cross members in this particular model at 16 inches instead of the the 12 inch spacing that we typically offered in the past. So those two things allowed us to shave off close to a thousand pounds with this trailer. So it's become a very popular model, especially in our Western regions where it's uh, typically used. Flooring options, we have three different flooring options. The model you see today has a aluminum floor with four fur nailer strips. Uh, you do have the option of having a uh, fur floor or a hardwood floor as well. Moving along the side of the rail of the trailer, uh, you, you can buy the, the tubing side rail without any stake pockets. You can choose a 24 inch or a 48 inch space configuration. A chain pullout is an option if you choose the 48 inch spacing as well. Uh, again, this particular unit that we're showing you today has a 24 inch spacing. You know, it's a nice clean insert for your stake pocket. Uh, Below the side of the rail of the trailer, we do have the bolt-on winches. Uh, again, there's no welded winches or uh, J-hooks on these trailers. Everything is bolt-on. Another optional feature, which is very common on these, is the, is the weld-on J-hooks. A lot of lumber is hauled on these trailers and tarping is used very commonly. So we, we offer the J-hook as an option as well. Spaced at every two feet and on the outside of the rail to give you an easy access to fasten or take off those turps. Moving back along the trailer, a few of the options in this particular unit again has the, uh, the pull-out lighting, both at front and back of the trailer, uh, very commonly chosen on this model trailer, just simply because if you've got a full width, it's nice to be able to mark the outside of your trailer and your load. Optional features that are not seen on this particular trailer, but can be added, we have a full offering of different belting you can get belting that'll come in front of the landing gear, in front of your uh, suspension, as well as the uh, the tires on the back of the trailer as well. I, again, it's a personal preference, uh, but it is available as an option. Holland Mark V landing gears are standard landing gear that we offer on these trailers, uh, two-speed configuration. We mentioned the 100,000 pound rating, that's an overall trailer rating. We do have a load rating decal that's mounted just ahead of the landing gear that will give you the uh, different ratings based on the four foot, 10 foot, 20 foot, or overall length of the trailer as well. In addition to th that decal, we also do offer a decal that will give you all the load ratings for all of our, all of our winches, J hooks, any of our fastening devices can be found on the front corners of each, each of our trailers. 
Behind the landing gear, you'll notice we've allowed space to add an extra toolbox. Uh, there's plenty of room to add up to a 60-inch toolbox between the two knee braces of the trailer. The knee braces of all of our trailers come down from the, the side of the trailer, and there's a tube that joins the lower rail of the trailer to the knee brace on the opposite sides. Standard spacing on the knee brace is 48 inches, where there is not a toolbox. It helps stiffen the trailer, and we space them at 48 inches on the flatbed trailers as well. At the center of the trailer, you'll notice we have a uh, mid-turn light that acts as a clearance light as well as a signal light to indicate a left or right turn on of the trailer as well. Optional lighting would come along the side of the trailer inset in the uh, JP rail of the trailer. Uh, this particular user has chosen just to go with our basic lighting packages. We do have lighting packages that will give you several different options of what you can put along the side of the rail of the trailer as well. Just ahead of the uh, suspension area, you'll see we've got the lift axle control for the rear axle, for the steer axle. It's a steerable lift. Uh, the other thing it does have built in is a reverse matic feature. So should you back, should the trailer back up, the wheels will lift up to allow the trailer to be moved in reverse. Again, all the valving in that can be found in the uh, air gauge box. Suspensions are offered in uh, several different configurations. Their standard is an Intrax 23K suspension offered by Henriksen. We do have different wheel end packages available. We have a parallel spindle, P spindle we call it. Uh, the standard offering is an N spindle with two different wheel ends that are offered by Load King. The oil filled wheel end offered in both P and N spindle is our standard and carries a one year warranty. The semi fluid grease option is available in both the N and P spindle and carries a two year warranty with Load King. Tire Max Pro is an inflate deflate system that we do offer on this trailer. Uh, it, it comes to preset tire uh, inflation values and only will allow the tires to overinflate to a certain point before deflating to keep those tires at a constant tire pressure. Something that is a requirement when traveling into some of the uh, states in the western part of the U.S., we do need to have a spray skirt to protect any overspray of the wheels. So we put a lightweight option. If you're familiar with our old system, we had a full length fender that uh, went the entire length of the trailer. On this particular model, we've made it a lighter weight design. So we, we just have fenders over each individual axle, shedding some weight and still doing the job, staying within legal requirements. An option that's found on this trailer is the uh, lift option on the rear axle. This customer has chosen to use that. Uh, please check within your jurisdictions to make sure that it's legal for use on the road in those jurisdictions that are being traveled. Lighting options, we've talked about lighting options, pull out lights. Uh, again, this particular trailer is equipped with a, an optional strobe light. The control for that light can be found in the air gauge box. Another optional feature is a stainless steel ring around each of those lights. And you do have optional extra lighting that can be placed into the fill plate as well. In addition, uh, many people have asked if they can have the popular option of having a rear dunnage basket put into the back of the trailer. On this particular trailer, it is not available as an option because of the steerable lift axle that is directly ahead of it. There's just not enough room to get that popular option installed on this trailer as well. Another option on the back of the trailer is a bolt-on bumper option. Uh, should you choose to add that, uh, why a bolt-on bumper? It's just simply, if you happen to bend it, it's so much easier to replace in a, than a welded-on bumper. We have several different storage options available. We, we talked about some of the different rear dunnage baskets, things that we can't offer on this trailer, but we do have the option of having a really deep uh, dunnage basket mounted in this particular unit. It's mounted on the uh, curb side of the trailer. It's a full nine feet, very deep basket, allowing you the ability to carry a lot of extra dunnage should you need to use that for your load. Directly ahead of that, you'll find a 60 inch toolbox. Uh, we do have two different sizes in toolboxes, we have we offer a 60 inch box in addition to a 48 inch toolbox. It's directly mounted behind the landing gear where there is space for an extra toolbox. The, the toolbox does have the knee brace style mounts to make it an extra secure mounting for that toolbox as well. I'd like to thank you for uh, joining us today for a walk around of the renowned series JP Rail Western Quad. 
Uh, we're very excited about this new product and should you need more information, please visit our website, contact your nearest dealer and we'd be happy to tell you more about it. Thank you.